In previous videos we talked about different solutions we have for living in Project Camp. Some people come with their own vans and others bring just tents. In this video we are going to prototype and install a custom tent on top of a deck in a different area of the land. Welcome to a new Project Camp update! So we want to make our tents for several reasons. An important one is to provide a solution for us that can be replicated by others. So we will share the design drawings and information on how to make it. Now let me tell you about what kind of tent we are going to build. Camping tents are usually designed for short stances, for being carried easily, in a light weight, easy to ensemble or disassemble, usually made out of plastic too. They are low for the wind and for easy transportation too. So that's something that really doesn't fit our needs. And after some researching in the market and what is out there, we came up with the idea to design our own tent. So we want to design a tent for one person where you can stand to be more comfy. We want also to use other materials because it doesn't need to be carried around often. So for us it's just setting up at the beginning of the season, putting it down at the end of the season easy. We want also to make it not too big in order to put it on top of a wooden platform to have it level and increase the comfort inside. This also would help us to keep it for a longer time so the materials are not really touching the soil or the ground. Hopefully this tent lasts way more years. So we have to choose where to place the tent in our land. We decide to go away from base camp to set it down in the field next to the creek and the yoga deck. It's a more quiet and relaxed space where you can hear nature sounds. Away from noises and the busy setup in base camp. To build the deck, we are sourcing our wood from the local sawmill and we are taking it to the camp with our brand new pickup. We are using red cedar with no treatment because in winter our beloved roundabout sign did very well and didn't get moldy. So we got the wood. And now it's ready to be handled to Emily to be transforming our new tent decks. So let's do it. Let's go. Hi, I'm Emily. I came to Project Camp to work in both design and building. That's also what I've been working on in Finland. So it's nice to continue with it in really different setting and get a little more practice on these skills. So let's see how it goes. Okay, now the wood is ready, so next we are going to go and see the place. Okay, now we are here in bottom of the field and first thing is to get rid of the grass and level the ground.
I found this metal wire uh, since like um, some kind of fence had been here. I don't really know. Um, I think I will leave it for now and continue digging. The crowd work is now complete, so next we need to find few rocks. Okay, now we have all the rocks that we need, so now we can finally bring all the wood here. The deck is now complete. I think it looks nice. I still want to do some truss cutting to clean out the area a bit. Okay, the deck is ready. Wood is not treated because we will use it as a test. We want to compare it with another deck close by made with same wood but with industrial treatment. Let's see how they behave in the long run.
Next, we need the tent to be created. We ask Kai and Eva for help. They are very skilled and also happen to be good friends that live close by. They have a really nice glamping site in the mountains, where they have installed a yurt and a big dome made by themselves. So we thought it's a good idea that they take care of building the canvas and the tent frame. Let's see how they work on it. We are now waiting for Kai and Eva. They're coming to bring the tent to the camp and build it on location. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we made it. Nice. Now we have all the team in the camp. Emily built the deck. Eva made the canvas. Kai made the frame. Now we have all the pieces. We need to put them together to build our tent on top of the deck. This is very
later to mark the screws we need to unscrew to disassemble it. Yeah, I was going to change the screws that you need to unscrew to bolts. Where are you put in the bolts? So we wanted to make it as easy as possible to uh, disassemble. So we're trying to have the bolts for the temporary connections and then everything else is either screwed or glued together. So then you only need to take apart the bolts to cool. take it down. So as you can see here in the wood, we, we drilled these pieces in and this is then the other side of the buttons that are on the fabric. So the fabric is really easily, just like a button, you can just press it in and it's, it's, yeah, it's connected to the wood. So this is the tent. We've set it up. It's it's basically done. I sewed some strings here, so you can just tie it. This is one piece. I did them separately, but then I sewed them together here. And as you can see, it has all buttons on it, so you can really easily attach uh, the fabric to the wood. I chose it um, to make three pieces because it seemed easier. Also, the Velcro was kind of consciously chosen instead of, uh, uh, instead of uh, a zipper. A zipper might be easier to use, 
but I, I honestly never installed a zipper and Velcro is easier and if something goes wrong with the zipper it's ha very hard to, to put in a new one but Velcro is very easy to just uh, to order, it's cheap and to, to sew it in. But you, of course you can use a zipper if you're uh, comfortable with doing that. So then this is just a big piece, it's like 550 meters long, 5.50 centimeters. Um, it has a semi, f if, I'm, if I'm correct, it's a semi flat felt seam, but it's a waterproof seam. You can really easily look up also in YouTube how to make waterproof seams. As you can see, it's, it's a bit too big basically, but I did that on purpose to have like a bit of an overlap. Um, so there's less space for gaps. <laughs> mm -hmm. We only have like one button here. But I would recommend doing more buttons along the way. Uh, we added this uh, strap to hold down the fabric to the wooden structure. So the strap is then attached to the base and kind of acts as a uh, ties everything together. I wanted to make the structure completely out of wood. So um, I made all of these uh, triangular connections. So these basically hold the frame together to give it lateral stability and then these hold the beams in place to give it support in the other direction. And yeah, it was nice to kind of try and make everything from wood. This was wood that I already had. Um, and we had these uh, removable bolts so that everything can be easily taken apart. But it's a prototype and we wanted to try and come up with something with what we had and something that could be and then to further secure the frame we bolted it down in, in four corners to the platform so then it kind of has four anchoring bolts so i made a window for extra ventilation and just nice to have a see-through i think yeah you can close it fully like this it's pretty strong velcro i have to say <laughs> This That's is nice. waterproof, it's 100% cotton. I think it's 340 grams, mold yeah, resistant. Like also, when it rains a lot, the fibers tend to grow, which makes it extra waterproof. But then it can also shrink a bit, the fabric. Mm -hmm. So it's also good to keep in mind that it could shrink, especially in length, to make everything a bit more longer than Can't is stay. needed, yeah. I would say. Oh guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. The fence is gone. Yeah. What do you think? This is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. Love it. Now we have our tenth prototype. We will see how it goes during the season. For sure. Some people from the camp will give it a try and tell us how it is to sleep in this cozy and beautiful space. You can get more deep information on how to make the tent in the research model, following the link in the description. Next update will be an 8th number video. So we will talk about challenges we have and also answer some questions that you can ask by commenting on this video. You can address them to the different teams of our project, like video making, workspace, landscaping or kitchen. Also, you can just ask and we will see who answers. Thanks for watching and see you in the next update!